Hey there. We're currently in the third quarter, about to enter the fourth. What have you done to prepare for fourth quarter? If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills dot com, where you can get your online education on how to start a business. Links below. It's third, it's third quarter. It's the summertime. People are taking vacations. You know, it's it's kind of slowed down a little bit. But if you're a business owner, you need to be busy planning for fourth quarter. One of the things that I used to do when I had my physical business is I always plan for the fourth quarter. And sometimes that planning would start second quarter because one of the things that you have to look at is your month after month, year to year sales. <clears throat> and this is something that many people don't look at because like right now, you got to get it to be in position to profit from fourth quarter. Um, you know, fourth quarter is going to pop here. And let me just go ahead and give you the trajectory. This happens every year. You can set your clock by it. Summer comes, it slows down a little bit. The kids are out of school. Parents don't have as much money. Then the kids start going back to school. Within mere weeks of the kids going back to school, depending on where you are in the country, once the last batch of little kids were back in school, the economy starts humming again. You know, it, it, it's like clockwork. And once, you know, uh, when I was in the storage auction business, this would happen. Let's say there was a unit that cost me a thousand bucks during peak season. When everybody was selling, everyone needed inventory. I can get that same unit in the middle of the summer for 300 bucks. Same thousand dollar unit. And one of the things you have to understand is with fourth quarter, it starts percolating that you got to have your products and stuff presented because I'm going to have a new, I'm going to have a few new products. I'm going to have uh, the dominant male product. I'm going to have uh, probably a YouTube course on how to sell courses, uh, how to create courses. So there, there's a lot of stuff that's coming that will be in place for fourth quarter, because typically if you prepare for fourth quarter correctly, you can make more money in Q4 than you did all the other three quarters. That's how strong fourth quarter is. And a lot of people are not really preparing for it because they don't know, because essentially preparation takes forethought and you got to know what's coming because once the kids, you know, uh, when I was in the storage auction business, I saw this pattern year after year, and it still goes on. Kids come out of school, prices of inventory goes down because people are having trouble selling it. Folks don't have as much money to buy inventory. This is the time to stock up. This is the time to prepare. Because, uh, you know, I, I'm right now, I'm busy. I've got a Hustlers Kung Fu Facebook group. i got a Dominant Mail group. And, you know, the, the people are dripping in. i got to get that stuff set up now. you got to get busy. Because fourth quarter is coming. And fourth quarter will make a fool of you if you're not ready. And all my seasoned business people, they know this. You know, uh, people who produce stuff, they know what's about to happen. You know, once September hits, it starts moving September, October, November, and the first three weeks of December. Then it goes cold for physical stores, but online, there's another boom because people get money for Christmas. There is, you know, if you plan it right, you can extend fourth quarter until February of the next year. So you got to be ready. You got to have your business up and running because 
you know, we're in third quarter and a lot of people like, hey, I'm going to take a vacation. I'm going to hang out with the wife and kiddos. And if that's the most important thing to you, cool. If you trying to run a business, that ain't going to help you make more money. You know, I, I'm just being honest. You know, Kevin O'Leary had this this uh, talk where this engineer, his uh, fiance came to him and said, hey, it's me or the business. And this is one of the biggest challenges of an entrepreneur. Your time is one of the most valuable things that you have. And if you have a relationship with the wrong person who doesn't understand that they can't come first, uh, that's a problem. That's an issue. And the, the engineering student got rid of the girlfriend because Kevin's like, let's be practical. What's easier to replace? And if you have a business that is rocking and rolling and you're with someone who's like, I need more time. I need more face time. I want you to come lose money to hang out with me. That's a, a bad match. It's just a bad match because typically a woman or a man, if the woman is driven, who understands your purpose, who understands how you're wired, is going to be cool dealing with that because that, that they know that makes you happy. And, you know, as this goes in the fourth quarter, because, you know, essentially um, you're going to work some long hours to get yourself set up. But essentially what you can do in fourth quarter can literally make or break the year. It could be life changing. You could have been sucking wind for three quarters and then here comes fourth quarter and you, you, you got everything positioned. You got everything at the gate. And once they raise that gate, you're off to the races and the money starts to come in and you, you will be shocked. Uh, one of the things that happened in the storage auction business was people would run out of inventory. That's how powerful fourth quarter is. People would run out of inventory. And, you know, for folks who are seasoned operators, they know that they got to get their inventory correct. And if they're ordering stuff from China where it takes weeks to get here, they got to pre-order and they got to have that stuff on the hopper ready to go. And this, this is just a little business advice for you, because if you're not looking at the numbers and you're not preparing yourself for fourth quarter, you are making some big mistakes you are creating a bad situation for yourself because, you know, once again, here at Hustlers Kung Fu, I'm going to tell you what's real, you know, real business, real money, real results, real out, good outcomes. And if you have been pissing around trying to get your business started, you know, like, eh, 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 like a car trying to start and you, you finally start shaping up some stuff fourth quarter you can end up screwing yourself because you're going to be looking at fourth quarter money as like normal money and it ain't normal money. That, that ain't normal. And you, 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 you can be missing out because you know, as uh, I did a live stream the other day talking about uh, making money online, it's become way more challenging. They've changed everything. And the longer you delay, the more that you piss off, the more that you don't, take action, the longer that you are not holding yourself accountable, because like I said, this stuff happens every year. If you're in business, this happens every year. You can set your watch to it. Kids come out of school. It slows down a little bit. Your competitor just can't sell as much product. So product gets cheaper. Time to stock up time to, you know, you know, plan for the future. And this is what got me into warehousing. You know, I had two warehouses. I would buy, 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 buy during the summer like a maniac because I had a place to put it in. The, the place was cost effective. It wasn't burning a hole in my wallet. I was able to easily pay the bills from the upscale garage sale that actually paid the rent. And this was stuff we would normally throw away. So to my business folks, are you ready? Q4 is around the corner. Are you ready? 
Is this the year you're going to shine? You're going to look so good. You're going to brush your teeth. You're going to brush your beard. You're going to be looking good. You're going to be looking like a shiny new quarter. Or are you going to be a dud and let fourth quarter make a mockery of you in your business? Because like I said, I'm getting ready. You know, this is I haven't geared up for fourth quarter like this in a while. And, you know, because I, you know, things have been going really well. So I haven't had to. And now I have some different goals. So I am ponying up there. There will be more products and stuff that will be ready for fourth quarter. Because one of the things that you've got to understand is money should be dynamic. Money's not static. Money doesn't stay in the same place. Money's moving. And for you to be catching money that's moving, you need to be in action. You need to be moving. You need to have your stuff set up. You need to be ready for the fourth quarter, the fourth quarter. You should be ready for the first, second and third quarter. You know, once again, I, I'm telling you guys, get your business started. Quit playing around. You don't have to be a millionaire. And, you know, there's people like it takes money to make money. It takes heart to make money. I have been making money on YouTube online since 2009 without massive cash infusions because I'm selling, you know, as a B2C business to consumer. I have been making good money, nice money buy this big ass house money since 2009 without, I, I mean, my original investment in this channel was $289 and most of that went for hosting. And I did not reinvest for two years. I should have upgraded my camera equipment much sooner than I did. But it takes heart to make money. You don't need a lot of money. There are many business models you could start with absolutely a, with no penny. You can start a service business. You can start a painting service on Monday and have 1500 bucks by Saturday. But you got to do the work. You got to be in it to win it. You got to know how to run a business. And one of the things that um, people don't seem to understand or to appreciate is Everything starts with sales. I, I will tell you something that I used to do for many years. I had access to a Poundex catalog, a Coaster catalog, Titan importers, and there was another one, and they all carried close to the same furniture. And I would put sell this furniture on eBay and Craigslist and just post a picture and sell it before I had to go, you know, I, I wouldn't have it in inventory. You know, at one point the beds were selling so well, I would keep six to 10 of them around because they were moving pretty quick. But the bigger stuff, I, I didn't have that stuff in inventory. And I sold it and then I went and got it and shipped it out and delivered it. I didn't have a lot of money. Once again, it takes courage, creativity, and heart to make money today. You know, this whole, you know, if you're trying to start uh, some type of multi line clothing line where you're going to go out and buy all this stuff and you're going to get all these logos and brands and stuff. Yeah. You might need 10 to 40 K to get that started, or you can have a few pieces made and flex on Instagram like a champion and, and make a bunch of money. Uh, one of the things that people don't seem to understand is the culture. I understand the culture of America. I understand the ebb and flow of third quarter going into fourth quarter and that education and that understanding makes me a lot of money. So you need to become educated on the dynamics of money and how money moves. Cause once again, you're not going to catch moving money standing still. You got to be out this out here to win it. You, you got to be in a position to catch the long bomb. That wide receiver streaking down the sideline, he got to run to catch that long bomb. If he ain't running, he going to miss it. The ball's going to overshoot him. He's got to be in motion, so you got to be in motion to get all his money. 
the more, you know, Grant Cardone's a perfect example. Grant Cardone never sits down. This dude is always doing stuff. He's always in motion. And that's why he gets this Wi-Fi bread. Uh, Grant is someone I'm modeling my business after because I want to do what he does on a smaller scale. I want to take this Wi-Fi bread and then invest it in real estate. And that's my intentions. That's why I'm gearing up. That's why I'm doing all this other stuff. And once I get my first uh, rental property, I'll talk about that. Because, you know, I'm a person that likes to talk about what I'm doing, not about what I'm about to do. So, once again, ladies, gentlemen, it's third quarter. What are you doing to prepare for fourth quarter? You should be lining up your emails. You should be lining up your marketing. You should be lining up your meetings. You should. You got to get all this stuff going, man. So for those of you who need more help, who want to make next year's fourth quarter amazing, go below and enroll in H undergrad. There's two versions. And essentially you get all of the courses before, you know, and you, you get a monthly payment. It's like driving a car. You get to drive the car off the lot while you pay for it and you get the use of the car. So you get these courses and by the time you go through them, you should be making some money where the courses become free. You know, if you're doing the courses and you're putting this stuff into play. So go ahead and line up. And like I said, the difference between the basic H undergrad, which is $99 a month for 20 months is you get the courses. And for the 199, you get one live course per month. So that's coming up. You know, because uh, we're, we're getting with a lot of training, a lot of stuff. I'm doing stuff over here, here at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. I'm doing stuff over at the Influence Frame, Disruptive Mail. That's going amazing. So go below, enroll in H undergrad, and start understanding business, understanding how to make some money, how to build some stuff, how to shape some stuff up. Because the true basics of business never change. You got a product to sell. You need some customers. That ain't gonna never change. How you do it, you know, people used to knock on doors to sell these brushes. Now, you know, everything's done online. So you need, you need the basics. You need a fundamental understanding of business and that's what H Undergrad will do for you. So with that, I'll see you guys later.